I would wear this. That fresh breeze comes in, the ocean breeze. And that's what this smells like to me. Yeah, that one's pretty good. This one's this one's another light sort of fruity-ish one. I, I guess this is like old people and like old nice ladies playing bridge, bingo or whatever. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Courtney. And I'm Teddy, and today we have a reaction video plan where we have a group of people blind reacting to popular women's fragrances, both men and women. They're gonna be given all of these different testing strips and they're gonna rank their favorite, least favorite. These are some of those popular women's fragrances and really just wanna get people's just blind reaction take to some of these lines and just kinda see which ones they like the most and which ones they don't like. So let's jump into it. I like that a lot. It's sweet and um, it doesn't really smell, I, I, my first instinct was to say it smells kind of like floral, but it really doesn't. It's more like an amber type of smell that a lot of perfumes have and I typically wear those kind, so I like that one a lot. One I would not like uh, for my wife to wear or any woman to wear, my mother, my sister. It kind of smells like a little cheap. Uh, it smells a little cotton candy maybe. It feels like I'm in the mall at like a little candy store or whether it's like a Claire's. Well, actually, I don't know if Claire's would be the right place, but no, I would not do number one. Fruity. It definitely smells like a younger woman. Too sweet for me. Way too sweet. I think of, if you're familiar with Cleveland, I think of Hustler's Strip Club. I know what this is. I bet. Um. This is, can I say it? Yeah. Mark Jacob, or uh, Mark Jacobs? Or no, sorry. Yeah, is it? I've smelled this fragrance before and I like it. This smells like zebra striped gum. We love that smell, but I don't know if it's really like a, something I'd want to be sitting next to. Ooh, I really like that one. I would totally wear that. I'm trying to think of what I would describe it as. All I can say is that I would wear it. Oh, this is just, Fantastic. It's kind of blew me back in my chair a little bit. You can put it on slow motion. So, Florida, right? This is like, you're in the hotel, they spray your sheets, the sheets are scented. Luxury hotel, right? And then you open up the balcony. That fresh breeze comes in, the ocean breeze, mixed with the fragrance on the sheet of the bed. And that's what this smells like to me. I don't like that one. It has like a pungent, no. I don't really like that one. Um, it smells sort of like grandma-y to me. It smells like something maybe an older woman would wear. So it's not bad. I just think it doesn't, it's nothing that I would smell on somebody or somewhere and, and want to know what it is. I don't know. It smells like almost like really kind of like a cheap perfume. I'm sure it's not, but it smells kind of like, like a body spray type of thing. This one's like a little more subtle, at least for me. I don't think I have the greatest nose in the world. It's, it's just still a little sweet. Like, if I was a sweeter gal, I'd say, I'd like that, but I'm not, unfortunately. So, um, for the sweeter ones, that's for you. Okay, I kind of like this. This has like, I feel like if I listed off a bunch of random berries, it would probably be in here. I would say like, there's lavender in this. There could be elderberry. I don't know what that smells like, but it smells like it could be in here. Not my cup of tea. No, I'm having a flashback to my grandma's house. <laughs> in a very nostalgic way, but not a like, I want to be sexy way. More like a, I'm going to the flea markets with my grandma. So, <laughs> so maybe not this one. Some kind of cleaning product. This is not for me. Do you like the I first one like, better? The first one is better than this one, yep. Okay. That's wonderful also. It's not as strong as the first fragrance. Definitely a, a much more subtle, like you want somebody to smell this that's close to you. Like if I'm a woman and I'm going on a date with a guy, maybe like a, like a bumble date, and I'm like, hey, this is good. Let me just seal the deal, pull him in close, give him a hug, maybe a little cheek peck, you know? And he comes in to me and smells this, you got him hooked.
I don't know. I don't mind this one. It smells cheap. Yeah, it smells fruity, cheap. Okay, this one is also kind of, it's kind of got that like candy smell to it. I don't know, it's definitely sweet. I, I would probably put this with the first one. Do you think it is like a more cheap fragrance or expensive if you had to guess? I could see this being expensive because it seems like, although it smells like candy, it smells like it has a lot of depth to it. I don't know, it doesn't smell like something very generic. It smells unique in its own way. That was not as strong. Definitely better than that one. So it's going in the middle. Kind of smells like like a teenage girl's body spray, maybe more so than a young or than a, like an older lady. So you would say it smells more cheap. Yeah, it smells like Victoria's Secret body spray. Something about this like just smells too artificial, or like again, I wouldn't want my wife to wear this or anyone in my family to wear this. That would have to be around. It just gives me hairspray vibes right off the get, but. Mm, so not, not immediately enticed, that's all. Ugh. Not a fan. Ugh. It smells like a pine tree. What kind of girl would wear that? A forest woman. This is a woman's fragrance? Yes, it is. No, thank you. I'm feeling this. Okay, so this one, if you're familiar with Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue, it's the vibes I'm getting from this and I like that. Hmm. Sounds like a weird marshmallow. Yeah, it smells like powdery, in my opinion, overpowering. So it's a little bit too much. This smells so bad. Parking lot of a gas station and like a woman walks up to you I think this is probably what you would smell like. It smells like alcohol in a brown bag, like mixed with Cheetos or something salty with it. Okay, this is bringing me back to childhood a little bit. Fruity Pebbles, all the way. Fruity Pebbles. A fun girl would wear this. I'm talking like she likes going to the fair, getting cotton candy. It smells like spearmint. Yeah, this smells like uh, an older woman would wear something like this between 50 and 70 years old. I'm not gonna lie, this one actually smells like like an open bottle of alcohol. Probably, probably a dark alcohol. This is it, honestly, at this point. Like, we yeah, this is it. No, I'm still feeling a hairspray thing, but it's not terrible. I don't think I would gravitate towards this. I think this smells like something that I remember like in grade school, a girl would wear. It's not overpowering like four, three, or one. It just takes me back to like laying on the floor uh, and like almost like nap time type of thing. And like one girl is the only girl in class who wears perfume. And this is the scent that she wears. I like the beginning smell, but not the, the ending smell. That one's like, it's like licorice and vanilla, but I don't like the licorice part. I like the vanilla part. <laughs> I like that one. I don't, I don't think, again, like, I don't think it would make me want to wear it, but I think it smells a little bit prettier and um, a little bit more light than two, three, and four. This smells like you just bought a brand new bike tire and open up the box and smell the box. It smells like a sweet inner tube. I don't mind this one. I smell coffee a little bit, I think. It smells like vaping. Like if somebody's just, you're in the car with somebody, you barely know them, you're giving them a ride somewhere, and they just, they blow a clude of banana cream pie vape juice in your car, and that cloud comes over and hits underneath your nostril. That's what this smells like, banana cream pie. This is interesting. This uh, smells like bottle caps, the root beer flavor, final answer. So, Oh, do I want to eat it? Yes. Do I want to wear it? Not really. No. <clears throat> I'm getting like spearmint vibes. That's like what I'd want to smell in your mouth, not like on your neck. Very average. 
I'm um, not a fan of that one. It smells like a candle store, but like not in a good way. Like, you know, when like a bunch of scents are mixed together and you can't really tell what it is. It's just like a lot at once and, um, or like a gift shop. Like that's, that's kind of vibes I'm getting from that. This is, I'm a lawyer, literally. Screams, I'm a lawyer, I have money. Probably drive a Porsche, Porsche, I apologize. That's not bad. I can get hip to that, I think. Not too, not too crazy overbearing. I like, I like that one. You know, if we were just in fourth grade with number five, with number six, I'm like in, not the, like the nursing home, but like at a old folks home and I'm getting a lot of hugs from ladies. It's kind of like floral a little bit or something. This, this just smells like a Victoria's Secret store. Like when you're going into uh, buy some pajamas for your girlfriend or your mom. Hopefully you're just buying your mom pajamas. Okay, I like this one. I like this one so much that I would actually probably wear this. This one you can kind of smell different things going on with it. It's a little floral. It kind of has a little bit of like a clean scent to it, but it almost has like a little like pinch of citrus in it, I guess. Favorite's number six. What about your least favorite? Least favorite's the inner tube one. Number three, forest girl, worst one. The best one was the subtle Miami breeze one. Do you want to know what it is? Yes, I do. It is Britney Spears fantasy. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was great, guys. Here it is, right here, look it. It's Britney, bitch. The first one was definitely my favorite. I wanna buy this one. Least favorite was the second one. I, I don't even wanna revisit that. The first one, you the, your favorite is the cheapest one on that list. It's really? Britney Spears Fantasy. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I think either two or four would be pretty close tie for my least favorite. Um, okay. So your favorite is number one. Yes. Um, can I tell you that that is Britney Spears fantasy? <laughs> oh my god! Probably because I got like a flashback to like middle school. <laughs> I mean, it still holds up, I think, compared to the other ones. And personally, this is my preference. What's your least favorite? Number one, number one. So your favorite now? Probably, I think it was number, no, it was four. Four. I can taste it even though I'm smelling it and it is the root beer bottle cap flavor, so that's gotta be my least favorite. Whatever number that was, I think it was six. Five. 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 And my, and first is, number one's my favorite, and I don't know if it's because I already have a bias towards it, because I've smelled this before, and I think I have almost chosen it, so. And it's gonna bother me until I figure out what this is. Do you want a hint? Yes, give me a hint. It's a celebrity fragrance. A celebrity. You might have smelled it when you were younger. Same. Brittany? Yes. Brittany, yeah. Oh, okay. Number five. Number five is my favorite one. Least favorite is uh, number, number six. I really think number two, just being like the most subtle, I think that's gonna be the distinct winner. Least favorite of all of them, I think, ooh, probably if it was, well, where was the like woman at the gas station? I think, I think it was four or three, both were just not good. I think it was four would definitely be my least favorite.
All right, guys, that is all we have for this reaction video. If you like this style of video, give it a thumbs up. That signals to us that you like this type of content and want to see more from us in the future. Also, be sure to subscribe because we're new on this channel, and that's also a great way to help us out as we continue to grow here. Really do appreciate all the support so far. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and we'll see you all next time.